Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I kind of prefer Asar over his twin brother. I want some rest. <laughs> All right, so I know this is a controversial take. People are going to hate it. I get it. I get it. Um, I mean, I could be completely wrong, but just from what I'm seeing, I, I guess maybe my personal preferences is Asar. Now, don't get me wrong. You should take every player individually. I know, but dude, it is so many similarities between him and his brother. I think it's only fair that I bring up those similarities not only do they look alike but they play similarly as as well so but anyways let's go ahead and just dive into it uh like all these what i do initially is i look at the stats then i give you my overall thoughts about the player and then we look at the nba scouting live pros and cons and see if we agree or disagree and i never look at the the scouting live beforehand uh, I, I form my own opinion and then uh, we react to that and just see how I feel about it. So let's dive into this. So here's his stats. And strangely enough, his stats look pretty similar to his brothers. Okay, no, no more compares. Um, he's averaging, hold on. This is gonna be kind of weird to do. 16.3 points per game, 6.1 assists, seven rebounds per game, 2.4 steals, 1.1 blocks, and as far as minutes 27 minutes per game and then we can see his field goal percentage here is 48 percent field goal percentage his three-point percentage is 29.8 percent and we can see here that his turnover ratio is 3.3 so not not great there but let me just go ahead and tell you the pros and what i like about them and then we'll talk you know briefly about the cons now but as far as him as a player he's not stupid explosive okay he doesn't have a stupid explosive first step but he is very athletic uh, he has some leaping ability and i really like that he has good passing ability and i really like that uh, but what i like the most is the fact that he can utilize his athletic ability fairly well uh, one thing that i talked about when i was talking about amen is i felt like even though he has all of those tools and he is more athletic than his brother I don't think that he utilizes his his defensive tools very well but Amin, he he i mean not Amin, i'm saying asar he just has it he he's, he just has it uh when it comes to defense so i think that he's a good on ball defender uh, i think he has a knack for for the for the ball on the defensive end and i think that he utilizes his skills very well um in in becoming a better defender uh, or a a, good, a really good defender as far as offensively he in my opinion really good playmaker um still has some of the same struggles as his brother his shooting ability is not great i think during the playoffs he shot pretty well from three but overall it was pretty bad um and i think that it just comes down to the shooting mechanics i don't know it, it seems like his shot is just a little flat but that's just me uh so it, as far as his concern as far as cons i think that's the main thing so pros for me is athletic ability defense um playmaking ability I, I think that all those are good and while his athlete or his athletic ability isn't as as tough as his brothers it, it he, he still utilizes his skills very well i also kind of have the vibe at least when i watch him um is that he's very controlled offensively he doesn't necessarily do too much he still has those skills in which uh he can make things happen that that's pretty uh it's pretty fancy uh <laughs> he can do a little too much and i will go ahead and say this this is concerning and it's the same as his brother and i don't know what's up with that but turnovers uh 3.3 turnovers per game is not great especially when we're talking about the overtime elite league once again i'm not saying that overtime elite means that you're a bad player or nothing like that obviously all these players can ball but it is a league in which guys that's going to be top five in lottery I, I just think that they could do better than you know 3.3 turnovers per game uh because a lot of these players that they're going against i mean they are kids you know it's i think the age range is somewhere between 17 to 19 something like that so yeah I, that's a little concerning not too concerning but it's a little concerning and it could just be very well oh i'm trying to do even more i'm really trying to show off my skills here and and it's slipping up a little bit but I, w I wouldn't knock on anyone going to overtime elite especially since they actually pay their players so um but yeah so let's go ahead and dive into uh this right here pros and cons and let's see what they have to say and if i missed anything uh i think he's six seven this might be wrong i think he's six seven um but anyways moving on pros solid score off the dribble excels at scoring on off ball most plays they say that by everything everybody decent playmaker that's what i said gifted rebounder for his size uh yeah 
uh solid defender that can get steals and blocks i i i would give me more than that I, he's a really good defender they they gave his brother this same description i think he's a better defender than his brother but that's just me his brother can get a lot of steals i will say that uh, but as far as on ball defense i think he's a better on ball defender very good athlete good motor all right cons needs to improve his shooting yep needs to improve his free throw shooting yep can be turnover prone I already mentioned that can play too wildly on offense i guess that's similar to his brother but i, I think he's more controlled um can be undisciplined defensively uh i don't agree with that but hey to each his own I, I don't agree with that i think he's pretty good defensively uh Sawyer thompson uh is a very athletic energetic swingman that has a variety of skills that could prove to be useful at the next level he excels at attacking the hoop to score and pass the basketball and uh he is also a good rebounder and defender he will need to improve his jump shot but he is very talented prospect that end up being a likely lottery pick in 2023 he, he will be a lottery pick so um yeah I, i'm this is just one of those players i didn't have too much to say about uh does he deserve to be where he's listed in mox drafts most of the time i see him around seven uh six or seven i agree with that um while i prefer let me go ahead and put this out there while i prefer him over his brother almond i understand that's controversial and i do also understand that almond has technically more potential uh than us are just from his athletic ability alone and if he can really hone in on some of those skills defensively i think that he can be really good but just as it stands right now i just like asar a little bit more um as far as the type of player that he is but that's just my personal preference um but if, if a player if a team were to take him over his brother i, I would actually be pretty shocked by that because i do understand taking Amin um overall just just how explosive he is i mean absolutely ridiculous so anyways i give it you guys later man uh you want to support the channel as always clan the merch fan.com or become a patron or youtube member only two dollars per month i really do appreciate the love until next time bye